Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zeph's Trading. Hope you guys are doing well today. April 17th, 2024. Going to be going over our chart review real quick. Got a couple things to do, so going to try to get this out for you guys. Very messy day, I would say. A lot of uh, indecision with the trading. Uh, strong rally at the end of the day. Huge market manipulation and then sell off. Um, a lot of trades got trapped. Nonetheless... Let's just get right into it. Pre-market session, you had a nice uptrend with a break and new high. And then we get a little bit of congestion across the board here before market open at 9.30 my time. You don't get any real setups here. I don't see anything that I would like to enter. You get a first entry, second entry, third entry. It's just nothing here. You don't get any second entries, no triple tests. Just really just noise. Um, comes down here and you basically get a nice one two three wedge pattern um, for context wise as you're kind of watching the market you know do its thing you get to move up break new high down move up break new high this is kind of the first trade I saw here there's quite a few aggressive trades today but we have a move up we have a first entry pulls back second entry short and where are you at you're right here at this resistant zone across the board here so maybe you take that trade it's not the best signal bar in the world but it is closing on its one third with a little bit of stem, maybe your bar was better than my bar. Um, there's a little bit of room for the EMA. Price has been holding at the EMA, going down, up, up, down. So, yeah, maybe you take that trade. Then we start the downtrend here. Um, you get a nice move down. You get a first entry, second entry, third entry. Inside bar, no real setup here. But then you get a nice first entry, second entry long, and it fails. So, you know, an advanced trade there for that. One, two, bulls tried once, bulls tried twice, and they fail. So maybe take that. Plenty of room to the lows here. Um, so I think that's a pretty valid setup. Also, price is completely rejected off the EMA here. The bodies are not closing above it. So, you know, there's a lot of bearish um, sentiment right here. As it moves down, you know, just a first entry, pulls back. You get a two-legged pullback. Um, no real setup here that I see. And then you get a first entry, pulls back, double matching bar high, second entry short, right at the key entry point. Plenty of room to the lows. I like that trade a lot. You get a move down, you get another first entry, resets the count, and then you get a first entry, pulls back, second entry, lower high. You gotta be careful here, you gotta really make sure that you have enough room to scalp out here. We're getting a lot closer to the lows. Um, so maybe that's only a six tick, four tick scalp there. So we run across here, um, break down, get a move up, you get a first entry, pulls back, you get a second entry short here. This one works, but you're going right into the EMA, so I think you should pass on that one. Nonetheless, you can move down, again, right to our lows, we get a first entry, pulls back, second entry short at the key entry point. The only problem is the body is pretty far away from the wick, um, sorry, the body's away from the EMA. You're going to have to do a limit order here, 100%, you're really close to the lows. Um, so maybe you take that trade. I like it as like a first entry, second entry short limit order. So when you see it break, you know, you try to drop a limit order in and then you're looking to scalp at least um, down to the low. But this thing, you know, after one, two, three bars here and then it breaks as high. I mean, and if you're trailing your stop one tick above, you take a small loss there. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes in this game. Then we get a move up right off this trend channel that we've established here. And it just sells off. Multiple red bars closing on their lows. We get a first entry, pulls back. You get a second entry long here right at the previous day low. You know, that's super tempting to take. you got to really know what you're doing here um, with this one. It trapped all the shorts here as it went higher. Um, but I think it's just too an aggressive of a trade. This thing could easily just sell off. So, anyways, you get a move up. You get a first entry, pulls back. You get a second entry short, but not a good enough signal bar. If you look, you made a tick lower. So that's your second entry. So once you see this bar, then you know it's a failure. And there's tons of stops, one tick above here. And you can see it. They just take it out and whoosh, way higher. So that will be a uh, aggressive trade here. So first entry, second entry, failure. We're going to move up. We get one. We get a nice A, B, C. A, B, C pattern, right? 
at our market open and our trend channel. You could also go argue and say one, two, three for a wedge pattern. Um, no second entry, maybe if this bar was better, I would have taken it, but it's a doji bar. Can't take a doji bar, not a good signal bar. Move down, just chops. And this is kind of when it starts getting really, really noisy and um, it's really hard to trade. You get a move down, break, new low. I mean, there's just nothing here. This is all noise. I mean, you get a move up, break, get a first entry, second entry short. And if you took that, I could understand why. Um, you just get stopped out by one tick, which is unfortunate, but it happens. And then, of course, you get a nice, um, you get that reversal bar, that bearish outside bar closing on its lows. You move up, down. You get a lower high here. Um, you know, this one's pretty tempting to take as well. But with how noisy it was and how, you know, after you got, if you did get stopped out there, then, you know, it's hard to reconsider and take the next trade. Anyways, you get a move down. And I think it might have been more like this, break new low. Um, again, today's price was really hard to read. Um, you can see how many wicks there are. I mean, there's just congestion across the board everywhere. Not clear setups. You got to just stay out of this stuff. Um, then you get a nice, let's see here. Then you get a nice first entry, double matching bar high. This is a second entry. This is a, this is a very context-based trade. You have almost no room to the lows. Maybe a limit order. Again, your stop has to be all the way up there. Your risk to reward ratio is extremely skewed. Um, it's a super aggressive trade. Maybe maybe you enter it with when it goes below this previous low here on this bar. Um, you know, I'm actually not going to mark this trade. I don't, I don't like this setup. This, I don't think this is a valid setup in any way. Um, yeah, we're going to skip that trade there. I don't think you should be taking those. Then you could just see how noisy it gets, though. I mean, it's just pure noise. Um, stems on all the bars. Just more congestion across the board. Maybe I should draw boxes so you guys can see that a little better for the meantime. Then uh, then the rally starts. Um, all of a sudden, just starts taking off. We get a low of day at 50.47. And then if you're looking at your um, previous chart which would be your daily chart you can see that the low is 50 50 and let me just make sure here yeah you're looking for about 50 50 and the support at um 50 40 on that daily chart there so you get a new low day you also get a first entry second entry long this one's really tempting to take um you have a final flag here but this thing's just been selling off. You're at the low of the trend channel as well. This is only a couple ticks. I think this is a pretty, pretty good trade. You know, if you're an aggress if you're aggressive and you have, I mean, you have plenty of room to scalp out. We're really far away from the EMA here, and this thing just takes off. But uh, you do get a nice first entry, and then that second entry. So maybe you take that. Nonetheless, we get a first entry, uh, second entry short. It fails again just goes back right to being in um, just a congested noise range here and it just starts trending higher trending higher trending higher I don't see anything to get in here until you get a nice first entry pulls back double bottom second entry long this bar is closing on its one third um, price is held above the 21 EMA for quite some time now for over 13 almost 30 minutes and no exception happens if we just rally right back up. You get a clear two-legged pullback to the EMA, to the key entry points. Um, I like that trade. And then you get a nice double top here. You know, there's. I was thinking about this one as well. You have a f first entry. Sorry. Um, you have a first entry, second entry short. Then you get a lower high. It's not a good signal bar. Then you can also argue one, two, three, triple test. Again, you're in, you're you're still waiting for the break in new high. Um, so I think you got to pass on that one, but then you get a first entry, um, and depending how you count this, you could also count this as a reset of a double top. So it could have been first entry pulls back second entry long, or it's first entry, second entry long failure. And then you get a one, two, three triple test. It's just a huge, big bull bar. Um, and your risk is en uh, enormous. 
So I just want to show these patterns though in case they happen not on days with an ATR of almost four, um, four point bars. So nonetheless, because you can still use the price action when it goes to a lower, more calm state of volatility instead of this crazy volatility we've had. Then you get a break, new high. Um, you get a nice measured move here to the tick, literally. So a nice move back. And where do we go back to? Previous day's low. We stall here for a second. And then price just gets disgusting. Price is, I mean, this is, you don't want to trade any of this. This is, this is horrendous. Then you get a one, two, three, triple test here. Um, maybe if you know what you're doing, you take this, uh, this trade here. Again, I'm going to mark it as extremely aggressive, though. Because you do see a clear triple test. You're at, you're at, you know, you're at the key entry points. You're at the resistance. You're at the previous day low. Um, so nice signal bar. You have room to the EMA. Again, maybe you should only be scalping for six or four ticks, though, with how crazy uh, congestion it is across the board here. So that might you might take that trade. And then it just rallies up. They just buy the living shit out of this. Um, you get a first entry, pulls back. Second entry short. Not a good signal bar. Um, and then right back to the lows. And that's what happens. We just start going lower and lower and lower. Um, you get, again, just a pause here for a second. Congestion comes down. I just don't see any way to get in any of this move down, unfortunately. There was no clear two-leg pullbacks. Um, failures. I mean, there's nothing here. Then, um, before the last hour of the day, sorry, at the hour of the day, you get a nice move up. You get a first entry. Pulls back. Second entry short. The second entry short is an inside bar, so you need some confirmation here. You get a lower high. And with how bearish this is, you're looking for a new low. This is the break. You're still looking for a new low. Drop a limit order a couple ticks back. You know, make sure your stop's above the lower high here. Um, let's see if we get this. 25, 1, 2. Yeah, so if you get this, maybe get in this um, with a limit order. I don't remember if this broke up, then down, or broke down, then up, and then back down. But, um, you know, just cover your risk. That's all I'm saying. Cover your risk. Make sure you are looking at your risk. And we just we just start getting all noisy. Um, at the end of the day, nothing really major happens. You know, we close back at 50-60 here. Um, we never made a new low a day, but we, we got close to it. That bullish uptrend and then failure, and then it came all the way back down. Just, just went sideways. But you do get, if you are trading late in this day, um, I know this is risky, but price action sometimes can get really good in the last 30 minutes, and it did. So you have a first entry, pulls back, you have a double matching bar high, inside bar, second entry short, where at this resistance level. Um, at least a move back to the EMA seems reasonable, and um, a limit order, you know, drop a limit order, double matching bar high, you get a double top in two different scenarios on a bigger picture and a smaller picture with this double bar matching high maybe your signal bar is better um, you do get a nice also a b c so it's you know it's a very clear two-legged pullback as well then um, i just don't see anything else to get in here for the rest of the day and that's pretty much it so that's how i saw it for today a lot of noise pretty really hard trading today um yeah really hard trading but that's how I saw it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this chart review. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.